let's go to our guy jail. Let's let's go down south to South Carolina. Our main, 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 Ron Cleveland wants to talk about RJ <laughs> free agency. Ron, how you feeling, bro? What up? What up? What up? What up? <laughs> man, man, man. <laughs> What's going on, fellas? How you feeling, bro? How you feeling today, oh, right? Man. man, I can't complain, man. I can't complain. What what I what I'm happy about cuz I we got exactly who I want. And I'm I'm being honest, man. You know, if you ain't, if you ain't getting Zion, I'm telling you, man. We got we got the best player in the draft, man. I'm I'm just being real about it from what I've seen and I, and I'm a North Carolina Tar Heel, man. I'm telling you. I ain't never cheered for no Duke player. But this dude is a real deal, man. I've, I've, I've watched enough of him to know. You know what I mean? Game recognized game. You guys know, man. And, and just the body language of this kid, man. You you know a lot of guys that came to New York, man. And let's be real. You you can see, like, the look they have in the face of, like, they're starstruck with the city yeah. itself and, and, and the bright lights, the media. Mm-hmm. I listened to that kid in that press conference when they asked him the question, there was a particular question they asked him about carrying the team on his shoulders. And I yeah. love the response he said. Yep. He said he, said he hadn't even played, played a game yet. <laughs> Facts. Pump the brakes, man. How can he answer a question like that? <laughs> that, that, was that was great. such a ridiculous that question. Was great. Man. And, 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 and that yeah, was, and I you, believe that was George Willis. And George Willis been in the game for a while, JL. So you know he, he's coming with that old school on the beat mentality with that type of question. Fish, he's trying to fish. For he's trying to fish right off the jump. <laughs> yeah, he, he, was trying, he was trying to send me. Dude didn't go for the bait, man. I, and I love it. the fact that if you watch him, he he didn't he just didn't blurt out a response. Like he actually look at listen to that question and and had had time to really think before he opened his mouth. And and that's what I appreciate because we know. Hey, it, it don't get no brighter than New York, man. And, and I think about all the everything just lining up for this kid. The kid mom is from what Brooklyn. Yeah, his dad yep. played at St. John. Yep. So I mean, it, it's really even though he he grew up in Canada, to me he feels like a New York player. That's it. Like yeah. like from the city, you know yep. what I mean? I agree. So so he so he know, he know the suffering of us Knicks fans. Heck, he's a Knicks fan himself. And if you remember, you remember back when. When uh, Duke played in New York, and Zion was like, "RJ ain't ain't the Knicks your team?" Yeah, remember, remember that comment he made? Uh, yeah, he's like, "RJ, you want to get drafted by the Knicks?" He's like, "Yeah, if they pick me, sense. hell yeah." <laughs> exactly. So, so when I look at that, RJ is, is was a great pick for us, man. And I'm gonna touch I'm gonna touch on this Kyrie and Durant situation, man. And a lot of people ain't gonna like what I'm about to say. But I really don't care. I'm going to say it. We need to just stick with the plan. I don't care if we don't get either one. I'm just perfectly fine with us not getting either one and just continue to build, man. Because when I think about timetables, man, when you're looking at age, Kevin Durant, 30, going to be about 32 by the time he stops playing. So, he, I mean, you, you're on the other side of 30, man. You ain't getting no younger. You know what I mean? You're coming off a major injury. And Kyrie, Kyrie got some baggage with him. He he, he, he flip-flopped like a fish out of water. <laughs> I'm telling you. And then he's, what, 27? He's 27 with knee injuries. Yeah, his, his knee's and about I, 37 just, probably, though. Uh, exactly. And, and the thing is, and, I, and I'm telling you this, I work in the healthcare field, man. You don't get better because of surgery. You know what I mean? Once they start cutting, it's the beginning of the end. You know, you, you don't have – you on borrowed time. So when I, I look at I look at the situation, man, we're a young team. We need to just continue to build, build through the draft. Hey, who knows? And I'm going to tell you what, I'm not opposed. I hope I hope Brooklyn be, be crazy enough to go get Kyrie and let D'Lo walk. I would love to have him not on a max contract, but like on maybe a, a 55 to $60 million deal. Yeah. I said that the other night. Him and Julius Randle both bring both of them to New York. New York, both of them guys are still young. Don't sign them to a max deal. You know what I mean? Let them sign sign for about three years at about sixty million apiece. And I think D'Lo would be happy to be here to try to punish to punish the Nets if they mess around and cut him loose. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Pre- appreciate the call, man. Definitely appreciate the love, right? Yeah, well, man. I mean, what what was interesting uh, in Ian Begley's article today, JL, is in terms of free agency, and I was going to touch on it later, but since he touched on it, he said that, um, you know, he also said it on our show that, you know, the plan B is going to be not to, it's to, to keep the money. You know, yeah. they, they are not going to um, overspend on free agents. They are not going to max out guys who don't deserve it. And that's yeah. that's the tricky thing about free agency is that, yeah. you know, there are max players and there's max salaries. There's very yeah. few players worth that money, man. I, I get, and I get you, man. Like like, like Ron said, d done well for himself. Uh, last season, I don't think he deserves a max contract off the jump for one good season out of four. No. Like, that's just to me, that's like the, that's a hasty reasoning. That's the reasoning that got us to, into trouble a long time ago. Like, you, I remember we gave Jerome James a max. Oh, my God. For having a good playoff series. Oh, my now, God. That means you're going to have a good show. That's it. <laughs> but so he yeah, has like, a sixty thousand dollar three year. That's something I don't know. That's more plausible in my head. I might even go a little lower, but because <laughs> that's like twenty thousand a year. Yeah, anyway, twenty million. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. But uh, I feel you. I I get I get the hype over him, but I don't know. Yeah. I, don't know. I mean, listen. I I've said it. You know, a couple times in a couple other streams. Um, I like D-Law as a player. I thought he had a sensational year. I'm happy that he was able to bounce back. I just don't know. If that's the player you want to invest in for the four years, plus his market is he's gonna be in demand. They even talking about the Lakers might be interested yeah. in bringing him back. That's funny. You know what I'm saying? How would you like to be that phone call? Yeah, his his agent picks up like, listen, man, we got rid of Magic. LeBron yeah. says it's cool. <laughs> if you want to come back, you can come back and rock with us. Yeah, I mean, like they're gonna have competition, man. Like. Yeah, if the picks don't get them. They might go somewhere else, which I'm kind of fine with. I'm not this, 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 whatever. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool with uh like, with, with missing out on them. Yeah, like I'm cool, like because even with the sixty thousand, that's still a lot. That's yeah. still like too much. that's still too much for me, my brain dog. Like, yeah, I mean, you had a good year, but I don't know. I need multiple good years to give you that type of money, dog. Yeah, I, don't, I agree. I I agree. And then on the KD topic, I mean, you know, it's so much is changing now. So much is changing on this KD front. Now you're hearing potentially Golden State would want to try to do a sign and trade. You know, yeah. how loyal would he be to them, you know, to to allow that? You know, is he would he just walk out the door? Would he give them the benefit of the doubt and, and you know, give them the opportunity to get some assets for him? Then it's like coming off an Achilles What's the trade value going to be? Yeah, obviously it's still going to be high, but how much? No, is, it's a lot, man. It, there's it's, a new storyline every day. It, there's a new twist every day. You heard on Get Up, Kendrick Perkins is saying, yeah. oh, the Nets are the favorites now. It's, yeah. It's it's crazy, man. Dog, we got nine more days. <laughs> nine more days. Nine more days until free agency. Yes, sir. So we can actually start to see some actual stuff happening. See, 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 what, see what happens, man. <laughs> 